And then, guess who's being glorified? The kingdom of God. And we talk a lot about the apostolic anointing. The apostolic anointing. You know, we know the apostolic anointing is the, the spirit-filled believer. You know, released, come on, on the day of Pentecost, the apostolic anointing, they, they acknowledge it. But this is what we must understand. You can even have the apostolic, what you, what you call the apostolic anointing, but have the wrong doctrine, then you're not advancing the kingdom of God. So actually, it's not the apostolic anointing. It's a deceiving spirit under the banner of witchcraft that had manifested itself out of the spirit of heresies. Are you getting this? I say it manifests itself out of the spirit of heresy. Once it manifests itself as witchcraft, then deceit is being imparted into God's people. And that comes from religion. Uh, you know, I know that's, uh, you, know, you know, saints of God, let me, let me say this to you. If, if you've been on a path in, in, and you're going the wrong way, is, is it more important that somebody come, if, if somebody come and that knows the right way and shows you the right way, is it more important that you get that information or you get up, caught up in the pride and arrogance since you've been on that road and you don't, you're too arrogant or too proud to turn around and just realize or to shift or to make a turn just to, or just to plainly say I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I was wrong. That's hard. That's hard when you've been going down the wrong path for a long time. And what's happening right now is that's what's happening in the church. You know, we have a church that has been established under the banner of Jesus Christ. You know, I'm in the Chicago area, and this is an idol worship town. This is an idol worship town. This is a religious monster in this city right here. You know, they will attach the name of Jesus Christ. But let me tell you something. God is not pleased. God is not pleased with the deceptiveness and the division in the church of Jesus Christ with the false teachings, with the false practices. Listen, claiming to be connected to Jesus Christ. I'm saying, saints of God, church leaders, he is not pleased. So we have to come to a place right now and say, I'm going to do something different. Huh? And so we're going to say, and I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make this statement because it's a true statement. Religion is not of Jesus Christ. Now, now uh, you can call me if you want to talk about that, if you don't agree with that. I, I don't make no statements that I can't go in the word of God, that this is important. I don't make no statements that I cannot go in the word of God and confirm by two or three witnesses. That is so important. And so those who believe that religion is of God, Birth through Jesus Christ. All you need to do is show me that in the Bible. Now, I'm talking about when Jesus said to them that what pure religion is, that you take care of orphan and widows. He said that to them simply because they was claiming to be God, but yet they were still rejecting him. Do you understand that? Jesus is the head of the church. So as we talk about that, one of the things that doctrine does as it divides God's people, it divides God's people because a few things are happening. Let's talk about that. First of all, deception. Deception is happening. When we talk about deception, now, when we talk about deception, what is deceptiveness? What is a deceiving spirit? What is a deceiving spirit? So false doctrine is meant to deceive you. Now, in false doctrine, it always presents a level of truth. Always remember that. It'll tell you something like Jesus is Lord or Jesus is the Savior. And then it'll start getting into its religious tradition and all of its religious practice practices and all of its religious beliefs. Some true, some line up with the teachings of Christ, some don't. That's why it's called deceit. You know, deceitfulness is it presents a level of truth, then it deceives you. So it has to lure you by the deceptiveness. And that's what religious religion does. It lures you by using the name of Jesus. But it brings you into something that Jesus had nothing to do with. Now, when you look at it, when you look at it on hindsight and you look at what religion has actually done through biblical history, religion hasn't done anything positive for Jesus Christ. We have religious wars even today. They're not doing anything positive for Jesus Christ. They're not advancing the kingdom of God. They're murdering in the name of their God. There's a lot of stuff going on that God would have anything to do with. Now, I know some would say, well, the Bible prophesied that there would be wars and rumors of wars. I understand that. But what we're talking about 
is what we believe in, why we believe it in our church, what our governmental structure is, and why we're teaching what we're teaching contrary to what Jesus taught, and why we're producing something contrary to what Jesus produced. And what I'm telling you is that religion is not the teaching of Christ. It's the spirit of heresies. That's a demonic spirit. Do you understand that? That's demonic. Now, there will be so, some right now that's just, that's, that's really getting angry right now. I'm just praying with you because, you know, God will, God will just lift that angel and give you peace. I, I just want you to know that you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Now, it's my desire, and it's God's desire, and it's the Holy Spirit's desire that we know truth and that deceit be exposed. So we're dealing with deceit. That's one of the things that doctrine does. It deceives many people. It divides God's people. So it deceits, it's deceitful, it causes division. Listen, and it's delusional. Delusion, and in other words, it has you off someplace and you're so delusioned because of witchcraft. See, delusion in witchcraft goes hand in hand. Seducement, mind control, that kind of thing. You know, everybody sound alike, say the same thing. You know, you know what I'm saying? So what happens is this. When you are delusioned, you know, you are delusioned because of the spirit of witchcraft that had manifested itself in your midst out of the spirit of heresy. And then what it does is it seduces you and it's mind control. It seduces you mentally, it seduces you emotionally, and it seduces you spiritually. And what happens is you begin to sound like the product that you Wait, do you understand what I'm saying? And this is when you talk to people and they talk to you first about their religious affiliation before they talk to you about Christ. They talk to you about their affiliation before Christ. Now, that's not biblical, okay? And when we look back to, in biblical history, what religion does, what religion does is it's been very harmful to the people of God. It was very harmful to Jesus Christ. And so when we deal with, we're going to call religion what it is. We're going to call it, it was birthed out of the spirit of her heresy. So what do we do? We have to bind that spirit. What? what? Because it's hypocritical lying. It's teaching something that Jesus didn't teach. It's producing something that Jesus didn't produce. And then it's attaching, attaching his name to it. Hmm. Now I'm not talking about right now. Now listen, in, in and it separates God's people in the sense, not just by religious beliefs, it separates us culturally. 